Hello everyone. I am just going to put out a video regarding um, things that you can do, uh, that you can have your kids do um, while they're home and quarantine and schools are shut down. So um, during this Corona outbreak, so these are fun little activities that can don't cost much and can enrich their day and pass some time. Very easy with cheap supplies from Walmart. Um, this says Hobby Lobby, but uh, you can get this uh, watercolor paper at Walmart and a package of Crayola crayons, uh, less than three bucks. And I, I just cut this paper, it's a big pad of paper and I just cut it in half so you can get more out of it and go further. So hang on, I'm going to clear my table and we'll start um, start our project. We're gonna do a field of spring flowers. Okay, so the first thing I did is I took the little bitty uh, paintbrush from the Crayola and I'm not gonna use that. I used a bigger um, paintbrush here just just an inexpensive one. Um, but I'm going to take a little spray bottle of water. And you don't have to do this. You can do it with your paintbrush. And I'm just going to take, I'm going to wet my paints down too. And I'm going to go ahead and get some of this blue. I'm going to make a sky. And I'm just going to dab that in there. These Crayola paints are not expensive at all. I'm going to take it down to... I get to almost the bottom. Okay, rinse my brush. And then I'm gonna get some green. I'm gonna use this green here. These are not bad paints. They go on nice. Okay, so while I've got that wet, I did get a paper towel, and I am just going to dab out some clouds. Okay, so now I'm gonna dry it. I'll come back and start again once my paper's dry. Make sure you dry it before you start the next step. Okay, so here's the part where I'm gonna add some flowers. And I am just going to do that with my fingers. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of this pink and I'm going to dab, 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 dab and wipe it off on a paper towel. And then I'm going to get some more of this really bright yellow. And I'm going to get some on that. And I'm gonna dab, 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 dab. And then I'm going to get this red. And it doesn't matter if you, I'm just gonna put a little bit of that red there for a small red flower. And then over here, I'm gonna maybe take some more of this red and put a bigger red flower. Make that a little bit more round. Look at 
that. It looks like it's got petals. So then I'm going to take some of this blue and I'm going to make a blue flower. And it kind of blends into the blue sky. So maybe I'll make it a darker blue. I'm going to add some of this black to it. Make it a little bit darker. And maybe put a darker blue flower right here. And then maybe this purple. And make a purple flower here. And then maybe maybe an orange flower over here. Then maybe another orange flower right here. And I think that's enough. So we'll stop and let this dry and we'll go on to the next step. Okay. Everybody ready? Our paper's dry. We maybe may kind of curling up a little bit. Um, so I tried a couple different things on how to make the stem and the leaves. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this darker green and always take your paint and put it out on your palette because you don't want to take it directly from because it's too it's too dark that way. So and this is watercolor and we want to make it really transparent and pretty. So I took my brush and I can make some stems with my brush. But that's almost too dark. Another way I can get a really cool looking stem is I just tore a piece of this cardboard off into a paintbrush shape. And the back side of it where it's white, it's just really nice. And I can just take it and dip it into my paint and just tap it down and make really pretty little leaves. Really pretty little leaves. They don't have to be. I can take this and I can drag it down. I just didn't like this little paintbrush came in the sets. It didn't work very well. So I am just going to Take a piece of cardboard, and this little piece of cardboard works better than that paintbrush. Make some little leaves. Just like that. And it's just really, really pretty. Couple there. Couple there, it doesn't matter if it's perfect. So I think that's all that we're gonna do for the painting. You could make a few little grasses if you want. Coming up from the bottom. little be a little pretty picture for spring or Easter or... okay so we'll let that dry and come on to our next step all right so our flowers are all dry and here is where we take it up to the next level so we are going to either take a sharpie 
with a little tip on it. See that there's a that's a fine tip sharpie or a gel pen. Anything you might have at home. So then we're going to go around the flowers and we're going to make different flowers with black ink. This is this is just really, and it doesn't have to be perfect. It even is a little nicer if you don't get it perfect. So we're going to take this and we're just going to do a spiral. And we're going to take this one. I like to do them all different. So we're going to take this one and we're going to do a circle here. And we're going to do pointed ones, pointed petals. And this one, I think I'm going to do another spiral. And this purple one, I think I'm just going to do, I'm gonna make it look like an iris. So I'm just going to do this, and do this, do this. And this one, I'm going to... Do. I don't know, I'm going to think about that one. But this one, I'm going to think I'm going to do just kind of follow the edge here. And just kind of let the flower do its all thing. Every flower is different. So and then I'm going to dot those metals. And this one, I think I'm going to do four spirals. Just whatever floats your boat. And this one, I think I'm going to do another circle with that. And this one, I think I'm going to do another just tracing around the edges. And dots. So, then you can take your and outline your leaves. Doesn't have to be perfect. Outline your stems and leaves. Outline your stem and leaf. Maybe put a few dots here and there, you know, for the middles of your flowers. Just outline wherever you want. Doesn't even matter if there's a whole lot of color there. They're like blowing in the wind. There. I think I'm going to put a few more dots in the centers. Maybe even color them in totally with the pen.
And there we go. And there is your field of flowers. And always remember to sign your name to your work so everybody will know it's your original art. I always put the date on there too. So it's March of 2020. All right. That was fun. See you next time.